remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? During the holidays, it seems to be an uptick of domestic violence taking place. Perhaps people are a bit more emotional than they normally are, but I'm seeing a whole lot of death and destruction during the holidays. We got a woman right here in Houston, 46-year-old woman by the name of Carol Lee Taylor, who was gunned down in the doorway of a house where her family and friends had gathered to celebrate her birthday. This happened on Christmas Eve. Her estranged boyfriend is on the run. We have a woman in Philadelphia who was stabbed by her boyfriend. This woman was stabbed in front of her children on Christmas Day. In San Antonio, an eight-month pregnant woman and her unborn child was killed by her boyfriend. These cases are not just limited to the United States. In Wales, a 75-year-old man killed his 74-year-old wife. In Australia, an 83-year-old man killed his 79-year-old wife. Whoa, man, you would think, you 70 some, 80 some years old, you didn't figure it out, man. You didn't figure out how to get along. If you're going to be with somebody, you, you would think people have figured it out. But some people just never get it. All of this murder, relationship stuff. I remember being younger. I guess I was a little bit more, you know, uh, romantically intense around the holidays. It's something about them damn jingle bells and that whole mood they set with love and family and all this stuff. And you just feel like you got to be with somebody. And if you're not with that person that you want to be with, you don't want anybody to be with them. And if you don't have the proper coping skills and that person resists you you may jump out there and do something stupid you got people that are so selfish that if they can't be happy they don't want nobody to be happy and what they don't understand is oftentimes is they feel like they're qualified to be loved right but then they go out and do something stupid like taking somebody's life and what it does is it basically confirms what everybody knew all along, that you was a goddamn fool. That's why she burned off on you. That's why she didn't want to be with you because you're a nut job. Some people just ain't fit to be in relationships, you know? Some people just should just you know maybe have companionship. I think we we are, we all need companionship, but I just really do believe that some people are not fit to be in relationships. No, you know how they say there's somebody for everybody. Maybe on the attraction side, but as far as being in a full fledged relationship, everybody is not fit to be in a relationship because some people don't know how to cope. They don't know how to handle rejection. They don't know how to compromise. They're selfish. You can't tell me that you love somebody that you kill. You're not going to be able to convince me that you destroyed somebody's life. You cut somebody's life short because you loved them. You were hurt. You loved them. No, I don't believe that was love. I believe that was lust. I believe that you snapped. You couldn't have her. You didn't want nobody else to have her. You couldn't have him. You didn't want nobody else to have her. So you made the ultimate selfish 
you committed the ultimate selfish act of taking somebody's life because they didn't want to act like you wanted them to act. If you got that type of mentality, before you throw your life away and destroy whatever hope or memories or love that somebody who, who's out there that may love you, whether it be your children, your parents, your, a close friend or whatever, get yourself together, get some help, get some therapy. You know, nobody's responsible for your happiness. And in fact, I would say, I would go beyond happiness and say joy because happiness comes and goes. But joy is everlasting. Find yourself some joy, man. You know, like, I just don't understand it. Also, I don't understand how people can just take other people's lives. We ain't got nothing to do with it. Some people uh, uh, kill the parents or whatever because they feel like the parents uh, betrayed them in some kind of way because they've been around the parents or whatever and, or the parents allowed them to come to their house and the parents shielded them. That's what parents are supposed to do. If you get in a jam or you running from somebody and you fearing for your life or whatever, your parents is going to grant you refuge. That's what parents do. That's what your parents would do. What's with the hypocrisy? Like, if you are with a woman and y'all was married for 20 years and y'all break up and you see the parents are kicking it with their daughter, they're not kicking it with you, that's what they're supposed to do. Your parents are supposed to be kicking it with you. And then sometimes when you break up in these long re relationships, sometimes people on your side become endeared to the person that you broke up with. They learn to love this person and accept this person as family. And sometimes that's hard for, to get over that they're continuing their relationship with this person that you introduced them to. If not for you, they don't know this person. So you feel betrayed, but that person is expressing themselves and that relationship and, and their relationship is different from the relationship that they have with you. So you have to learn to get over these type of things. This is just a part of maturity. And some of us are 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s, and we still have no idea about how we should act as an adult. This is why a lot of the kids don't have respect for us. Because the kids oftentimes see these things and be like, man, y'all acting like little children. Y'all, that's juvenile. Y'all act, acting really childish. All this bickering and all this type of stuff, you gotta, you just have to use a lot of just, just common, it just come down to common sense. Yeah, and common decency, being civil toward one another, and just understanding that we don't own each other that we're merely allowing one another the privilege of being in our company. That's it. Condolences out there to everybody who didn't lost somebody during the holidays. Uh, for me, these holidays are just not that serious anymore. And I think the minute that people, the moment that people get that get that memo I think that uh, we'll probably be a better society overall R.I.P. to all the victims no more talk what, what, what the haters talking about yeah.